Have you ever imagined what your smart train would be like with brakes, steering and balance? Let's find out. Let's look at the future. This is Crystal. Hello, from Moverti. Did I pronounce that correctly? Moverti, yes, we need to keep on moving in time. Does it really? That's fantastic. And this action, this bike does keep on moving because it does things that other static bikes don't do, doesn't Facts. it? Facts. So this is the first and only bike that actually feels like cycling. Uh, and uh, that opens up a whole raft of new possibilities, but first and foremost it makes cycling a lot more natural when you're cycling indoors. So you can balance, steer, you can uh, tilt at an angle, um, and then it also connects digitally to any digital environment. So that could be you know, trading apps, but it can also, you can also ride freely in open digital environments. Uh, and that is uh, first. And when you put these two things together, what you really get is a really immersive uh, indoor cycling experience. Because right now what happens, you know, we typically we exercise into the lower body of the pedaling and you know, we're, uh, we're watching movies, Netflix or YouTube or something. Uh, and what you can see here is that uh, when you are fully immersed, in a way the exercise element becomes secondary to the entertainment factor. Uh, and that, and that uh, and that is just a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm looking forward to having a go on this. Um, this is a view from behind, and uh, hopefully you can see that there is a, a virtual landscape there. Um, presumably this will be compatible with most of the uh, racing programs that we use, yeah. like Zwift and RGT and things like that. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. So I can run my races on, on this, can I? Yes. Does, well, um, I, this is, of course, we should emphasize as a prototype. I mean, is there, is there a time scale for this coming onto the market, or is it still no, well, when it's ready? It's ready. Yeah. You know, hardware is, is hard, as they say. Yeah. Uh, so we're, we're taking our time. So at this point, this is a pre-production prototype. Um, we put it out there to get the feedback of the community. Okay. Um, you know, you don't want to be too late with that. And we've already done lots of tests with drivers coming to the labs and telling us different things. Yeah. Uh, going really granular, you know, whether that's crank lengths or you know, steering. Um, because fundamentally, you know, it's an engineer of freedom. And that is somewhat subjective. You know? yeah. So for some people, the, let's say, the lateral motion feels a little bit too stiff, or some feels a little bit too soft. And so that's the type of feedback uh, that you need. What about the diversity base? Is it Italian? So we're based in uh, Labs in Battersea. <laughs> <laughs> But there's a lot of contributors to come from Well, um, another great bike brand's come out of South West London and some of the beginning with Beat is Brompton, of course. So uh, if you can follow their successes, you've got something good going on, haven't you? <laughs> Let's do that. Enjoy the ride. Program them for uh, for any uh, for any games. Do we get games use controls in a different way? This just opens up the possibility to make use of the joystick for certain game controls. Right? Okay, so it's the equivalent of a joystick. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm with you. So you need a keyboard on the screen to use a joystick to type uh, the letters. No, it, it does away with keyboard. So that's the idea. Is that you don't need a keyboard while you're looking at. No, but if you wanted to type a message, can you use the joystick to pinpoint the letters you want you to You could, hypothetically. We haven't incorporated that. Okay, uh, I'm with yeah. you. I'm with you, yeah. What we have incorporated is you can actually talk to people live. Oh, well, okay. So, so if I... No need to Discord, ride, then. You, exactly, exactly. <laughs> yeah. so you and Paul might at home. We can talk to one another. Uh, okay.
So here I am, this is me having a go on this, and you can see I'm twisting the steering, and it's quite responsive, and bike's leaning as I'm doing it, so let's start pedaling and see what happens. Uh, I get in the resistance, it's feeling uh, much like I'd expect on this roof or RGT or something like that. Now I can't go through the water, so I'm going to have to turn through here. On this particular game, I need a water token to uh, ride on the water, so I'm looking for a water token, there's one. Do I have to press the joystick as I go through? Right, so here we are, I get the game token there, and I think I can walk on the water. If I've got this wrong, we're about to drown. Oh, I think we drowned. Right, so let's go up this hill. Incline 21%, and I'm feeling it now. Oh, that is getting quite tough. It's that cadence dropping down as we go up. And I'm not kidding out properly for this, so I think we'll turn around and go back down and enjoy the descent. Oh, yeah. The steering is quite responsive, so that's great. Now I have to say that uh, they were looking for feedback from riders and uh, this gentleman is something of an expert, it turned out. Um, I think both of our experiences were that the uh, steering is a little bit uh, over-responsive um, it's something that uh, you quite you'll get used to if you use it, and equally the brakes don't have that resistance you feel. So you, your your fingers aren't feeling the resistance that you would normally feel when braking, although the screen is actually responding. Similarly with the um, steering, you're turning it too easily, and I, I found myself over steering, um, and a little bit of resistance uh, could be put in there. Apparently, uh, Formula One simulators do build in that sort of resistance on steering wheels and things. Um, and it's something that can be done and will be done. Um, but even if that wasn't done, uh, I wouldn't let that put me off using this because uh, it quite clearly functions uh, as close to a bike as possible. Um, side winds and headwinds are probably the next thing on the agenda once this bike gets out on the market. Um, this is really exciting and the possibilities are great. It will work with Zwift and RGT even though this is a, a more of a game. It is absolutely fantastic. finding it I um, I think my experience is I'd have to get used to the steering a little bit because it doesn't resist in the way if you pick this up this is an oil patch an oil slick so when you drop the oil slick uh, behind you then uh, it slows down the gap <laughs> <laughs> that's brilliant <laughs> But you can only uh, carry one uh, token at a time, so that's why if you use that, if you get another one, you can pick it up. It's like a rocket on fire. Top. Yeah, it's just novel to. Um yeah. It's novel to steer on a screen. Yeah, yeah. It's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. I know Zwift have got their, or Elite have got their steering. How do you find the steering? Yes, yeah, it's, it's not quite natural, but it's pretty good. I, I, I think the graphics maybe are the thing that put you off. I, I, I think my instinct was I was oversteering because I yeah. you don't get the resistance of the tyre moving on the road. Right. Yeah. So I was oversteering. Yeah. Yeah. I think you'd get very quickly used to it. I, mean, I don't think it's a big issue, but my, I, I noticed I was oversteering. Yeah. Outriders come to and tell us what yeah. they think. Because yeah. it's really about the, the stiffness. Yeah. Uh, the steering. Well, I kept missing the prizes because yeah. I was oversteering. Right. You know, I was over pushing the uh, thing. I mean, I, I, so I wouldn't. Uh, that that wouldn't be a problem. I, I just think you get used to that sort of thing, don't you? 